What we got today, Dev? What we got today, Dev? What? Oh! Oh! Hey, Molly. What's up, Brody? Wow, he is really feeling himself today. Hey, what is good, TK gang? Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Sharif Cooper. So, you guys, I wanted to bring y'all an update on Sharif just because there's a few things I want to talk about, such as not too long ago the Auburn University basketball team they had media day so I just want to talk about that and I also want to give you guys my input on what the head coach Bruce Pearl had to say about Sharif Cooper so far being at Auburn University before I start this video make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called 10k Wallace vlogs make sure you guys go cop your merch as well it will be in the description box below so you guys can go click on the link and just pick whatever you want now let's get to the video so first let's talk about media day now you guys like i said they had media day a few days ago and honestly just watching them have fun and just bond together is really dope and i'm really excited to see all these guys play together because auburn university's basketball team this year you can tell they have really good chemistry and they're also very excited for sheree cooper to you know take over and become their starting point guard because sheree cooper we all know he's a team player he just loves to just get people wide open shots and he just always do what he gotta do and on top of that he's really cool off the court people really do mess with sheree cooper even though he's kind of like a quiet guy but he is really funny and you can just tell he like to have fun and he's just really a cool guy and people really do respect him so him coming in being their starting point guard you already know it's gonna be crazy yo i just cannot wait for the season to start we all know the season is supposed to be starting this month around like the 25th or something like that i'm not 100 sure on when arvin's first game is but when i find out i will let you guys know but yeah you guys i'm going to be expecting a lot from arvin this year because they're already ranked as fifth in the sec so they already have high expectations mainly because of Sharif Cooper being a five-star player coming in. So, you know, it's going to be very big for them this season. And I just can't wait to see what these guys can do playing alongside together. Now, let's talk about Sharif Cooper. So, as you can see during the beginning of the video, I added a clip when he was working out. You can see he was doing some pull-ups with the chains around him. Yo, Sharif Cooper, he is a dog, man. His work ethic is insane. And that's why I want to talk about what the head coach Bruce Pearl had to say about Sharif Cooper. Now, Sharif, he's been at Auburn for a few months now. The season haven't started, like I said, but he has put in so much work already. He has increased his bounce. He has got bigger. Sharif weighs around like 180 to 185. When he was in high school, his senior year, he was only like 160. So it's just like he has grown so much. Sharif has really surprised me, you guys, because I just wasn't expecting him to progress so much already before the season even started. He's only a freshman and he already looks like he's been in college for about two to three years already. That should show you his drive and his worth ethic. And that's why Bruce Pro he said in quote, Sharif, he is a self-made player. He is a grinder. He is a gym rat. If the head coach says that about you already coming in being a freshman, then you already know. Sharif Cooper, he really, really is that guy. He is a dog, bro. Because there's no way in the world your head coach is already saying that about you before the season even started. Bruce Pearl only been practicing with Sharif, you know, and having little scrimmage games. He haven't really been traveling with him yet or nothing like that. You know, Sharif haven't really 100% actually became a college player yet and bruce pro is already saying this about him a gym rat if a head coach is calling you a gym rat just know you are really putting in that work because you gotta earn that title a gym rat bro you have to earn that man there's no way in the world a coach is just gonna call you a gym rat for no reason you really have to show that coach that you are that guy you're putting in that work you can't wait to get better you want to get better you striving to get better no matter what you don't care whatever it takes and that's how sharif cooper is he has so much driving him he's self-made like coach bruce pearl said 
he don't need nobody to really fill him up he already know what he got to do he's already focused he's already locked in and that's why i always liked about Sari cooper because he's been like that honestly throughout his entire basketball career like for real he always been like that and now that he's in college and people's paying more attention to him when it comes to him working out and stuff that just shows you how much drive this kid always had like it's just so unreal man i just can't wait because i really feel like sharif cooper might end up entering that 2021 nba draft the route he is going he's progressing so much once the season start i really feel like sharif cooper is going to go off right away because usually once a freshman come into college some freshmen it take them a little while to get used to the college level and just get adjusted to the next level i feel like sharif cooper is going to ball out right away as a top prospect should like i feel like he's going to start averaging 15 or 16 points off the back around like six or seven assists you know just going off off the back because he's already locked in he's already been preparing himself for this level like he just so advanced over a lot of people and that's why sharif cooper he just had the mindset he has because he's always been like that and yo i just can't wait man i really cannot wait because i really feel like sharif cooper is going to go off and i'm going to keep supporting him no matter what and i'm gonna keep giving you guys updates on everything because this upcoming season is going to be scary you guys i just can't wait and it's crazy because i really wish isaac akuru he would have stayed for one more year and played alongside with sharif oh my god arbin would have definitely been crazy this upcoming season yo like that would have been insane yo oh my god but you already know isaac he gotta go to the league he gotta rack up that nba contract so i don't blame him sharif he's next he just gotta do his thing at arbor next so yeah but so far like i said sharif he already progressed with his body he's already around 180 he got a little taller he's about six foot tall he also got more balance he said that he already did his first windmill he tweeted that on twitter so i can't wait to see that i still haven't seen no footage but whenever some footage come out i can't wait to see it hopefully during the game he do that oh my god if Sharif Cooper do a windmill during a actual game, bro, oh my god, that would be crazy. I would love to see him actually do a windmill in the actual game. You never know. He might just wait in. He might just keep that in his bag until the season starts so he can pull it out. So you never know. But man, I just can't wait. I'm really excited for Sharif Cooper, like for real. Out of all these guys that's entering the college level this year, I feel like Sharif Cooper is probably my top three favorites right now because he gained so much more of my attention once he got to college because i just feel like he's a completely different person now like when he was in high school of course i knew about him but i never really made videos about him i don't really 100 know why but once he got to college it's like he's giving me reasons to make videos on him as in his progression y'all know me i love making videos about certain players that's progressing a lot with their game that's what my channel is really mainly about you know about these guys progression so once i start to see sharif really progress himself he was always a top guy in high school but once he got to that college level and started to pump that iron and just show everybody all his progression with just everything that's when he really started to get my attention so it's just like yo Sari cooper you're doing your thing bro you really doing your thing because you got me tuned in for real every time he posts something his story i'm tuned in i just can't wait to see something new like i really cannot wait to see what's gonna happen this upcoming season i want you guys to leave your comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about sharif cooper's progression and also how do y'all feel about what bruce pearl had to say about his new starting point guard i thank you guys for watching please make sure you like subscribe make sure you press the notification button ticket game we out also make sure you go cop your merch